Meg Ryan was the queen of romantic comedies. Here's how she became our most relatable superstar. After taking an eight-year break from acting, Meg Ryan returned to the big screen this week in what happens later fittingly a romantic comedy, the feel-good genre that cemented her as a bona fide movie star stitching from the late 1980s to early 2000s. When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail are Ryan's golden trifecta, earning her the ubiquitous title of the queen of romantic comedies. In What Happens Later, which Ryan co-wrote, produced and also directed, the 61-year-old actress picks up where she left off, starring opposite David Duchovny, 63, as a pair of former lovers, Willa and Bill, who bump into each other at an airport for the first time in years. When they're stranded due to a massive snowstorm, the hijinks ensue as the exes revisit their complicated past. I never went anywhere to begin with, Ryan explained to Yahoo Entertainment, declining to call the film a comeback. She said the idea came to me during the pandemic and I had time to write about it but her return to the genre that made her a household name wasn't this deliberate moment. In any case, it has been nearly 15 years since Ryan was last in a romantic comedy 2009's widely panned serious Moonlight, in which she starred alongside Timothy Hutton, Kristen Bell, and Justin Long and her new foray in the genre with What Happens Later, about people finding love again later in life, has brought about renewed interest in the films of her Hollywood heyday. The enthusiasm you're probably seeing for this is her fans being reminded of what they loved about her and the excitement of seeing somebody do the thing they are most famous for, Brent Lang, executive editor at Variety, tells Yahoo Entertainment.